Whoa, whoa, whoa there, big fella. Whoa, be oh, careful. Oh, yeah. uh, that's not the same one we were just looking at. No, it's not. No. Look at this thing. All right. You're all right. Um, that's the one that was sitting on top earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is another nice, warm, healthy, red-bellied black snake. You can see uh, he's very movement focused, so he's oriented on everybody that's kind of moving around him. He's got a good look at me and my hook, but he's just trying to make sense of his surroundings and figure out what strange occurrence is going on here. There? Oh, don't care. See, as a first instinct, he's just uh, trying to get away first. He almost gave a little bite to himself just because he's just trying to figure out how to get out of this predicament that he's in here. Just been grabbed out of his natural habitat. But it's a good example of how a lot of Australian snakes can lift a good portion of their body. In this case, he's just lifting the first few inches of his neck off the ground just to kind of give him a better vantage point and look around. So as you can see, he's very movement oriented, like I said before, but having that head that, you know, he can support his body and move off the ground is a really useful evolutionary feature. It's all right. Still, his first instinct is that he just wants to get away and he can use that kind of periscoping feature to lift his body up and look around him and kind of try to figure out, make sense of his surroundings. It's another good example of how snakes in general will feel more comfortable when more of their body is on the ground. So even though you can hear him audibly breathing and making, you know, a little bit of hissing, a little bit of noise, he's, uh, he's still not super defensive and the more of his body that he's got on the ground, the less uncomfortable he's going to be. He's obviously still not enjoying himself too much, but as you can see, you know, dangerously venomous Australian Alapid here, but just has no intention of trying to bite me or come after me, just really wants me to let him go on his way and stop bothering him. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So you, my friend, I go, you're all right. It's right back where I found you over here. There you go. On your way. And he's off.